So it's this idea of understanding how can we work with a natural environment and natural ecosystem to deliver uh, uh, multiple benefits. So I'm focused on what we call the AFOLU sector, so afforestation and land use sector. And cities really come underneath that because it's all about working with landscapes. In a beautiful park, yeah, this is like a really nat natural ecosystem within a, a really a really huge city. And there are various ways of understanding what are the health benefits, kind of the key one, the one that's been explored a lot in the literature, are uh, mental health benefits. And I think we saw a lot of that from COVID when everyone was locked, locked down in their houses. I think a walk in the park was very therapeutic. But then there are also other many, many, many benefits that have been maybe not as well explored from a public health perspective. And this is around uh, improvement in air qualities. So a lot of the times we don't completely value the benefits that the natural ecosystem gives us because it's really difficult to do that. How do we value the benefits of woodlands in the UK as an example, right? We probably would cost things like uh, timber. You know, how much does it cost to sell timber or to make furniture? But then we don't really value the entirety of all the benefits. You know, I've just talked about the air quality benefits. You know, how do you put a number, a monetary value to that? And because it's, it's been poorly valued, it doesn't factor in decision making. I think once policymakers know how much value is attributed to those ecosystems, then I think we'll be in a better position to start championing for their scaling up. And one way of, of trying to understand the value is capturing the health benefits and the economic benefits of the restored landscape. You can say, as a result of doing that, for example, the work that we are seeing is that we are able to produce uh, higher crop yields and that can be translated to improvement in food security or nutritional security uh, as a result of, of, of cooling down the microclimates and, 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 and the temperature, we're able to avoid this number of hospital admissions or this number of deaths. So I think, I think numbers are really important and that's what's missing. Mm -hmm.